Verse 15 of chapter 3 says, And I will put enmity between thee and the woman. Watch this, man of God. And between thy seed and her seed. <laughs> it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. How many have read that before? You've seen it before. All right, let's understand it. I'm going to put enmity between thee and the woman. Now he's talking to the serpent. Because there were three levels of cursing. When God was cursing, he cursed on three dimensions. He cursed the ground. He cursed Adam. He cursed Eve. He cursed now the serpent. But he never really cursed Adam. Eve experienced pain. The serpent's head is going to be bruised. When it came to Adam, he didn't curse Adam. He cursed the ground of Adam. Because God never curses a seed. Adam was the seed bearer. If he had cursed the seed, anything Eve would have given birth to would have been cursed. So guess what? The man you don't like, he ain't curse you. Can I sit down for a second? Some of you, he mad now. Look at you. You mad. See, if you read the Bible, life will be simple. The man you so mad at and you can't stand and he make you sick and you telling the baby, you just like your daddy, he curse. There's nowhere in the scripture where it says God curse Adam. God curse the ground. God cannot curse the seed because in the seed is the tree. In the tree, it's a fruit. Some of you curse on the tree but want to eat the fruit of the tree. If you curse the tree, the fruit going to be cursed. You might not like it now, but pray it produces because you will only eat what it produces. I think I just lost him. I think this is my last time coming here now. It never says that God cursed Adam. Because Adam carried the seed. He cursed the ground. <laughs> He's now cursing the serpent. I'm going to put enmity between you and the woman. Watch. Her seed and your seed is going to be at war. It shall bruise thy head. You know the problem is passing this day? Most men ain't walking around with a limp.